amor. So welcome to another pick a card. I am back again finally after taking some time to do my best recharging my energy because a lot of you may know we are still in the middle of Mercury retrograde and my sign is Virgo and so guess what i personally do get affected by this energy quite often so today we are going to find out at who is coming into you fast in love okay this is going to be excited and for those of you that would like to book a personal reading with me you can already book in advance for the month of july all complete information, my email, my price list, and everything else is always in the description below. Please be very careful and mindful of some possible scammers out there. I never, ever, ever use WhatsApp. The only legitimate email and also some of my social media links is only in the description. Okay, so please be res uh, responsible for your own safety. And also, especially for you loverbirds out there, if you are curious as to how your soulmate or twin flame looks like, or maybe your future spouse as well, guess what, honey? I have a very special service that I can offer for you. I am accepting a personal art commission to paint a portrait of your person so if you are curious about the facial features and the description and any other messages about your soulmate slash twin flame slash future spouse you can book an art commission reading with me okay and if you also want to be painted uh, your higher self okay if, if you are curious how does your soul looks like as an image your higher self or even your spirit guides as well you can also get a personalized art commission okay so all of the complete info about my art surface is also in the document a link alongside with my tarot surface in the description and so with that being said we are going to start with today's reading and please don't forget to also follow my other youtube channel and instagram both of them are at amorinet for more spiritual art lifestyle posts okay so let's begin today pick a card as always use your own intuition and i am using my own art as a tool for you to choose the piles number one two and three it is from left to right Hello, hello, my amours who pick pile number one with this artwork over here. Okay, so I'm going to begin by today's reading and uh, by channeling some messages as well based on the art and then we're going to pick up some cards okay i also apologize if sometimes i get tongue-tied or miss and match some words because mercury retrograde so excuse me for that <laughs> okay so we're now going to begin Pile number one, I do feel for a lot of you, this person that's coming into you fast could be somebody you already know. This could be an ex-lover, this could be a friend that you have no idea that they actually like you, this person wants to confess to you, okay? This could also be an old crush or maybe somebody that had a situationship with you from the past. I do feel that for some of you, you may still be in communication with this person and for some others, you are not in communication at all or maybe little communication with this person. So I do feel like I want to pick up cards based on these two different groups, okay? Which I don't often do, but I feel really called. So we're just going to do that. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to first start. <laughs> I almost said I'm going to fart. <laughs> I am going to first start. Not I'm going to fart. <laughs> what? What is going on? I am going to. I'm so sorry. 
sorry, pardon me. I am going to first start with this group over here, specifically for those of you who are still in communication with your person, okay? <laughs> that is so embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so my amours, for those of you who may be in communication, who is this person? Okay, Ooh, we have the devil in the upright position. Don't worry, this card can also represent the zodiac sign Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or that you could be a Capricorn yourself. So I feel that uh, this is for you, okay, that is still in communication with this person. If you are not really, really in the communication with this person, at least you still see this person face to face quite often. So this could be a co-worker, this could be a friend that you're still hanging out with, with a group of friends, but you're just not aware that this person actually likes you and they would want to confess to you. Okay, so again, remember as always, you have to still use your own intuition and discern the information, okay? But this is for the group that have some form of contact at the very least. Let's take a look at some more details. Oh, that's way too many cards. Let's take a look for those that could be in contact, communication, or at least seeing each other. Any more details, please? We have the Three of Pentacles in the upright position. I do feel a friendship or a work environment over here okay basically it has something to do with your social life so this person wants to collaborate with you they want to work together with you to build a stronger foundation for this friendship so this person could be somebody that is fairly new this person could also be somebody you already knew for some time but either way there is a new beginning that is coming between the both of you and I do feel that this person is going to be the one to make the first move since this reading is about who's coming to you. This person, mm, they may look like they have it all together in their life, but they're actually not really. This person could have a very idealistic vision or a goal about something about their life or about their career and they may talk about it with you because they also want your advices your opinions or maybe just some emotional support okay so if at any time there is somebody that is talking about their passion or their ideals in the future that could actually be a hint that that is the person that is coming into you in love. So this person may low-key try to spark up a conversation with you about career, about life in general, but it has something to do with what is it that you're passionate about and what is it that you really want to work for yourself in the future? What is it that you want to be successful? of or what do you want to be in the future do you want to be an artist a singer a musician do you want to be a doctor do you want to be an architect for example so this person may low-key try to spark up that type of conversation but it's actually a way for them to get closer to you now i'm going to start for the other group here, for those of you that may be in a little to no communication with this person. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a confirmation that for this group over here, you had a very strong relationship already with this person, either a situationship or an official relationship in the past. So this can definitely be your ex or 
an old crush from a previous situationship, but there was still a lot of things unsaid. And I feel that this person cannot hold back any longer of not telling you their feelings. So I feel that this person wants some closure together with you. Either you will accept it or not, they're still going to do it. They're still going to take that chance. Let's take a look at some more details about the other second group here. Oh, that's way too many cards. <clears throat> Let's take a look. One more card for the other group over here. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. Mm -hmm. This person wanted to, okay, this person wants, okay, not wanted, but they still want to rekindle the spark between you both. Something happened in the past, could be misunderstanding, could be a drama, could be a fight that happened between the both of you that caused the separation. And this person definitely wants to come back and communicate with you. Hmm. This person could also be a fire sign, by the way, which are Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, okay? But that can also represent the energy that they express, which is a lot of passion, intimacy, lust as well. So another hint, this could be a friend with benefits situation, or this could be somebody that you used to hook up, you know, or just have fun with in the past. But apparently this person caught feelings. Mm. I feel that they could ghosted you before that caused the separation but now that they realize they have feelings for you they want to come back and communicate regardless if you would accept them back or not so i'm going to pull out some more oracle cards to take a look at any more guidance about what should you do about either of these situations Look at that, as simple, not simple, but as straightforward and cool, as simple as it is, it says give your relationship a chance. So I feel that for most of you, yeah, you are willing to give them a chance, okay? Because there are still a lot of unsaid things between the both of you. You want closure, you still want that closure and they also want closure and so, I feel that whatever happened, whichever your situation is, there was quite a lot of miscommunication and misunderstanding between the both of you and you will be given the chance by the universe to straight things up with this person. So let's take a look. I feel that two more cards want to come out. Let's see. Two more cards for pile number one. Honeymoon. You could be going on a vacation or meeting this person somewhere when you are going somewhere on a vacation, on a business trip. Either way, there is the energy of traveling here. But I do feel that this energy is sometime later in the nearest future so the next thing that is going to happen in this situation is that this person is going to come to you and they're going to confess their feelings right and then you're going to re getting know each other and then after that there is a very huge possibility of going on a vacation together and really spend time privately to really experience that intimacy again and rekindle the spark, okay? Now, the honeymoon is obviously also talking about rekindling that honeymoon phase when you feel the butterflies in your stomach in the beginning of a relationship. So this is definitely confirming a new relationship that is blossoming. So I feel that for at least 70% of you, my amours, you are going to get into a relationship pretty soon, actually. 
and it's going to be lovely I do feel good commitment as well even though it's still going to take some time for either you or this person or both of you to trust each other again but the chance is there so the last card I have for you is attraction so no matter how long time has passed between the both of you whether you're talking or not this is a confirmation that the attraction between you both are still very much there other than that this can also represent that this person is actively doing some form of law of attraction to attract you back into their life okay and look at the card that is at the bottom of the deck trust and look at it <laughs> past life relationship like i said this is a past energy coming back but it doesn't feel like it's the same with the past energy it's completely a transformation of a new chapter so whoever this person is i do feel that they definitely have changed and grow and learn a lot in life okay so there you go that is your reading my amours and thank you so much for watching let me know down below in the comments and also don't forget to follow my instagram at amorinet and i will see you Mwah. hello my amours who picked the second pile so i woo okay wow this is already hitting with such a strong emotion and energy i have to say i'm starting off this reading by letting you know this is a powerful and a super deep soul connection a lot of you could be soulmates or even twin flames i just have to say it okay whichever way you resonate just take it okay whichever resonates to you personally but what i can confirm is that this is a soul connection regardless of the label if you feel that this is a soulmate or a twin flame however go ahead and take whichever that you feel resonating so you have chosen this artwork okay and i'm going to begin this reading by channeling some messages based on the art and then i'm going to pull out some cards oh there is a lot of heavy burden regret shame embarrassment as well that i i i feel it's coming from your person so definitely something happened here i feel that you and this person already had a long history and when i say long this can even symbolize past lifetimes either this past like in this life of course but also possibly past lifetimes i do feel a lot of that strong energy so this person wants to come back and apologize to you and they are not expecting anything at all from you because they know that they have disappointed you or that they have hurt you a lot or whatever happened between the both of you there's definitely some type of fight or a big misunderstanding between the both of you that happened in the past so regardless if you would accept them accept them back or not they they don't really expect anything really they don't really care i mean they care about your feelings but i feel that this person feels that they have a huge sense of responsibility to be there for you to help you to support you almost like a self-sacrificing energy just for the sake of you okay so whether you accept them back or not they're just going to do whatever they can to help you and if you accept them back of course they're going to commit to this love and they would be very happy actually to have a relationship again with you they still kind of have a hope they still have that little hope within them but they are not expecting much from you in the way that it's selfish okay so this is not about oh they don't expect anything much from you because they don't want you no it's actually you know weirdly it's the opposite way they they feel that you deserve so much better and that they need to give more to you 
and they are genuinely willingly unconditionally want to give all of this to you back okay <clears throat> so there's a lot of guilt whatever it is that they did or that they didn't do they they perceive themselves as somebody that is guilty of hurting you or even ruining your love life somehow so no not this one so we're now going to take a look at the cards okay what what, what happened between the both of you i feel there's a lot that this person wants to say to you so instead i actually feel i want to pull out some cards to tell you what they want to tell you so we're going to actually change the question okay i feel like this person is really coming in so strong and they have a very clear message they want to give to you yeah the nine of wands they're telling you that I know and I would totally understand with all of my heart and soul if you would still be angry at me, if you would still be defensive, if you would still want to fight me or even to reject me. I truly understand that and I accept that. So in some ways, your person feels like they deserve to be treated that way if you would reject them because of how guilty they feel. But then again, I mean, whatever happened it is, I mean, you know, my amours, you know what happened. But one thing that I can confirm with the energy is that I, I actually don't feel that this person cheated on you or stabbed you on the back. I don't really feel that that was the issue. I mean, it could be for some very few of you, maybe like 20% of you. Uh, or there was a misunderstanding, okay? But, but here's the thing. What I'm picking up is that this person did not appreciate you enough. That's it. This person now has just realized that they were not appreciating you enough. And now that they realize this, Oh, this is really hitting them in their guilt and shame. The Eight of Pentacles. So, another message from your person. Look, Eight of Pentacles achievement. This is a card about putting all the focus and intention and effort to something that you prioritize so that you can manifest a success out of it. So this person, like what I just said before, they, regardless of what you would say to them later on, they don't really care. What they want to do is that they, they want to come back to you. They want to talk with you. They want to work things out and they want to prove it to you that they are willing to give it all to you. And they really, really want to work on this. No matter what, they really, really want to work on this. If you accept it, of course. So they're still going to come to you if you rejected them they may still try but if you reject them again that's when they're going to stop because i do feel that this person has a lot of respect to you and your boundaries they do understand that but they're going to try and if you accept them that's when they're going to uh be very grateful to you and truly show you this effort to you okay for a strong relationship this person who they have so many insecurities i gotta say there are so many fears surrounding this connection as well in the past now for a lot of you my amours i feel that you are moving on but you cannot help it that you still feel their energy you are moving on you're not waiting around for anybody but i still feel that sometimes you may still think of this person or you you're just wondering how are they doing but it's not like you really care so i feel that right now my amours your energy is quite on the neutral side of things now let's take a look again what's going to happen in this connection actually let's see what is going to happen in this connection? Ooh, there is definitely going to be 
a movement and there's going to be a strong transformation happening this person is going to come in fast and very very unexpectedly at a time where you're going to be surprised okay we have the eight of wands in the upright position this is the fat one of the fastest moving card and the eight of wands always talks about physical movement action efforts or something that is coming in surprisingly with passion so this person definitely wants to rekindle that flame with you hmm yeah Oh, this is very strong. Oh, I just received a very specific sign. This person wants to marry you. They're dreaming about marriage with you. And possibly having a family if you want children. If you're okay with that. Wow, they would be the happiest person on the entire universe. To have an everlasting love, marriage, and family with you. So in the past, if this person was not listening to you, I do see that when the time comes for this person to come, to come back to you and talk to you, they're going to be on the silent mode. They're going to be the listener here because they know that you deserve to express all of your thoughts and emotions of all of this time. Okay, and they know that you need that closure as well. Wow, okay, last card, honey, look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Look, it says destiny. Look at this circle of life, this light over here. This is a circle coming into completion, into fulfillment. This is a major arcana card, okay? With the number 10. Yeah, the, the Wheel of Fortune is the number 10. This can, ooh, this, this can be about like 10 days from now on or 10 weeks. For some of you, 10 months, but I feel for most of you, this could be within the next 10 days or 10 weeks, which is really fast actually, okay? This is a confirmation that this connection, even like spiritually, ooh, there is a purpose here. There is a strong lesson as well going on. And so, the guidance for you, my amours, oh my goodness, I just saw exactly 11.11 on the recording. So, the guidance for you, my amours, is that should you decide to give this a chance, I do see that this can definitely be a rebirth of this connection that is so much more positive, healthy, and stable. So, at the end of the day, this is still going to be your choice. Remember, your free will. That's going to be your choice, okay? So that's it. Pile number two, I feel like I have to leave it at this. And so, yeah, that's your reading. And thank you so much for watching, okay? Let me know down below in the comments. And don't forget to also follow my Instagram at Amorinet. And I will see you again. Mwah. Hello, my amors. Who picked the very last pile? Okay, so let's begin. Ooh. Pile number two had a lot of intense energy. So you have chosen this sketch of an angel. So I'm going to start by channeling some messages based on the art itself, and then we're going to pull some cards, okay? So pile number three, I do feel that whoever this person is, they could be a fairly new person in your life okay you you could already know this person but actually for most of you i feel that you don't know this person just yet so the energy that i'm going to read for you i feel that it's coming from from the nearest future this person is highly spiritual as in they could be literally practicing some spiritual practice or rituals, law of attraction, you know, manifestation, spell work as well. Or this person could be highly intuitive. They could be very sensitive. There are an empath, for example, and 
they just have a really good sense of self-awareness which means that they're very mature okay i do feel a lot of mature stable energy they're very grounded within themselves within their life this is somebody that knows what they want they know what they want to go after in life as well so this is definitely somebody that already has a good sense of clarity where they are heading in life okay this person could also recently just experience their spiritual awakening and also shadow work this is somebody that is very responsible as well so they could have a high status at their job or they have a very very good career path this could be somebody wealthy by the way and also well known by people so they could be a celebrity an artist or a youtuber a celebgram celebrity instagram you know blogger fashion influencer or beauty influencer they're definitely on the public eye if they're not on the public eye this is just the idea of them being admired by a lot of people around them okay and a lot of people truly respect them wow so on the outside i feel that this person may okay they are nice they are very friendly and they do have a sense of warmness that really comforts people and welcome people around them uh, th this person has a really good aura uh, a level of energy that is positive okay but sometimes people may misunderstand that oh on the outside she or he may look so nice oh they're so polite they're so demure or sometimes people may even mistake your person as somebody that's weak because they're so nice or welcoming but do not cross their line and they will be assertive okay they know how to be assertive they know their own boundaries and <laughs> should i say this <laughs> okay i'm just going to say this because yeah i never sugarcoat but you know sometimes there are a bit uh harsh truth that i'm wondering should i deliver it the way it is harshly or should i deliver it in a more softy way but apparently my spirit guides want me to just deliver it for what it is so I gotta say that this person is of course they're very friendly warm and kind but should you cross their line should you test their limit they're going to show you hell and <laughs> so sorry i am not telling this to scare you off okay my amours this is more about how other people perceive them okay don't worry <laughs> do not worry this message is not about how they would treat you okay because th this is more about if other people would try to take advantage of your person then that is going to be the attitude that other people will have to deal with so let's take a look at some more details about this person so any more details and description about this person i feel that a lot of other people may also try to manipulate your person because again they mistake your person as somebody demure and or maybe even docile in some ways but again cross their line and they will show you how legit <laughs> so this person works very professionally they're always right on time they're always right on their deadline as well and they always work for quality so if other people try to scam them off or manipulate them uh-huh nah -uh, honey that ain't gonna work oh i'm picking up some zodiac signs definitely air sign okay 
or it could also be that they have a lot of air signs in their natal chart. So if you're into astrology, then you can definitely take a look at that. This could be their sun, moon, rising, uh, Venus signs. Okay, so air signs, which are Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that is correct. Air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They could also have a Scorpio in their natal chart. They could actually have a Scorpio sign as well. Because I keep hearing Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, so when you meet this person, mm-hmm. You're going to be surprised when you are alone in the bedroom with them. You get what I mean. <laughs> oh, I love this energy. Let's take a look. We have the two of swords in the upright position. I feel that this is actually you. When you meet this person, you're not going to be sure if you want to give this a chance or not. It could be that you feel intimidated by them or that you may think that this person is a player mm -hmm. that could also be it in the beginning this is how you would perceive this person but the thing is that this person is somebody that likes clarity they don't like wishy-washy type of people they like to like stick to the truth or the, the facts and do something about it like this is a person that come on if you know what you want do something about it take action so yeah i'm actually reading more about their personality and what's going on in their life and this is of course a hint for you so that when you meet somebody like this you'll know that this could be somebody that is going to fall in love with you and then confess their feelings we have the uh, seven of wands but it's in the reverse okay the seven of wands in the reverse okay so ooh, like i said mm -hmm, confirmation they do not like drama this type of person is somebody that if they see drama bubbling up they can already sense that from a hundred miles away honey and they would do whatever it takes to get away from it because they do not like drama they hate it it's a waste of their time this is somebody that truly appreciates and respect time and effort this is somebody that really cherish the intimate moments that they have with the important with with people that are important to them people that are precious to them like their closest friends and family so when you meet them you may you may think that this person is busy or maybe not prioritizing you but this person does prioritize you this person is responsible and they know how to balance their energy and their schedule as well <laughs> this is so interesting but it's quite weird that pile number three i actually feel like i'm reading about the description of this person but at the same time i'm actually reading more about how you would feel when this person comes in but then again that's just the way energy is if it flows like this that means this is the message that you should know <laughs> okay i'm going to pull out one last card Ooh, this person is powerful for sure. The magician in the upright position with the number one. You could be meeting this person very soon within at least the next one month, okay? Or the very next month, whichever you are watching this, the very next month or within the next one month, you're going to meet this person. 
Again, they could be somebody you already knew, but relatively new. This can be somebody you're going to meet for the very first time later on. Okay, regardless of it, remember to use your own intuition and discern the information. But then again, these are all the important messages that you can already expect for what type of person actually, what type of connection that is coming into your love life. And like I said in the beginning, this person is very spiritual. And yet, here we go, we have the magician card, okay? So they are doing some form of law of attraction. And what's really funny and cute is that this person is currently trying to attract a partner that is on the same level as them. And that is you, okay? This person does not have a very specific details or list of oh i want my partner to have like blue eye color or green eyes or i i want them to have long hair or short hair or whatever it's not really like that it's just that this person already has some form of id of what type of partner that they want to attract and then they release it to the universe and apparently a lot of that energy matches with you my amours so i gotta say <laughs> This is actually quite the rare moments in my pick a card video where I'm kind of roasting my own amours over here. But hey, I mean, I don't sugarcoat, okay? And I'm going to, again, I don't sugarcoat, but this time I'm going to tell you softly with compassion that please be very mindful uh, of you know, to, to have your own confidence, okay? You, my amours, you have to be confident of yourself. You have to have faith in yourself and you have to also be appreciative of yourself more because you could actually have some insecurities going on here and when you meet this person, that could be trigger. And I don't pick up any actions or intention from this person to purposely hurt you or trigger you okay i don't actually see that so this is a good card i mean th this reading is good it's positive so it's more of a warning and some heads up so i'm going to pick up some last two cards okay passion oh the intimacy between the both of you mm -hmm. Whew. it's going to be Whew on cloud nine <laughs> okay last card last card oh <gasps> soulmate yes honey you are manifesting each other <laughs> okay so that is your reading pile number three thank you so much for watching just let me know down below in the comments as always and don't forget to follow my instagram at amorinet and i will be back soon again Mwah.